Phishing attacks. Phishing attacks are dishonest attempts to steal private information by impersonating a reliable source, such as bank information or passwords. These assaults typically take the shape of phony websites, emails, or texts that deceive people into disclosing personal information. A cyber criminal may, for instance, pose as a bank and send an email requesting the recipient to update their account information by clicking on a link that takes them to a phony website where their login credentials are stolen. Phishing attacks have the potential to cause financial loss, identity theft, and illegal account access. Ransomware Malware known as ransomware encrypts a user's data or the user's entire system and demands money to unlock. Once compromised, victims might not be able to access important data unless they pay the cyber criminals a ransom, which is typically made of Bitcoin. WannaCry is a ransomware example that affected hundreds of thousands of machines globally in 2017. It encrypted files and demanded payments in Bitcoin to unlock the keys. Attacks using ransomware have the power to destroy companies and organizations, harming their reputation and finances severely. DDoS attacks Denial of service via distributed DDoS assaults cause a target's servers or network infrastructure to become overloaded with traffic, blocking access for authorized users. These attacks cause service disruptions, which cause downtime and possible financial losses for companies. By taking advantage of weak Internet of Things IoT, devices, the Mirai botnet unleashed one of the biggest DDoS attacks ever in 2016, causing massive disruptions to major websites and services throughout the globe. DDoS assaults are frequently employed as a diversion from other malevolent acts or as a tool for extortion. Insider threats Insider risks arise when members of an organization improperly exploit their access to confidential data for malevolent intent. Employee data theft, private information leaks, and deliberate security measure compromises are a few examples of this. Edward Snowden, a former National Security Agency worker who exposed widespread government monitoring operations by leaking classified papers to the media, is one notorious example. Because insider attacks can be challenging to identify and counter, it's critical to have strong cybersecurity procedures and personnel training. Zero-day exploits Zero-day exploits aim to take advantage of hardware or software flaws that the vendor is unaware of, making them hard to stop. Before a patch or remedy is released, cyber criminals take advantage of these vulnerabilities to conduct attacks, placing users at risk of compromise. One well-known instance is the Stuxnet worm, which was identified in 2010 and used to compromise Iran's nuclear program by attacking centrifuges used for uranium enrichment. It did this by taking use of zero-day vulnerabilities in Windows. In the cybercrime underground, zero-day exploits are highly prized and can bring substantial amounts of money when sold on the illicit market. Social engineering attacks Attacks using social engineering deceive people into disclosing private information or taking activities that jeopardize security. These assaults are challenging to identify with conventional security measures alone because they frequently prey on human psychology and trust. One instance is the CEO fraud, in which a cyber criminal poses as a business leader to dupe staff members into sending money transfers or divulging private information, resulting in monetary losses and harm to the victim's reputation. Pretexting, baiting, and tailgating are a few examples of social engineering techniques that can be used against both people and companies. Man in the middle attacks. When a cyber criminal eavesdrops or manipulates data by intercepting communication between two parties, it is known as a man in the middle MITM, assault. These assaults pose a serious risk to data integrity and privacy since they can happen in a variety of settings, including public Wi Fi networks and infected devices. As an illustration, consider the Dark Hotel campaign, in which prominent people were singled out by cyber criminals who used their hotel Wi Fi connections to intercept and distribute malware laden updates that were passed off as genuine software upgrades. Secure communication channels and encryption techniques can help reduce the impact of MITM attacks. Man in the Browser MITB Malicious software infects a user's web browser during a man in the browser MITB, attack, enabling hackers to intercept and alter data transmitted between the user and websites. MITB attacks target the browser explicitly, as opposed to standard man in the middle MITM, attacks that happen at the network level. This gives attackers the ability to modify transactions, insert malicious code into web pages, or steal private data, including login passwords and financial information. 
Because MITB attacks happen on the client side and are difficult to detect, they frequently elude detection by conventional security measures. For instance, the Zeus Trojan carried out a complex man in the browser, MITB, attack in 2010 to intercept internet banking transactions and steal more than $1 million from a UK company. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more enthusiastic content.